everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to share another book review for the most recent book that I've read, which is um, Flaubert's Parrot by Julian Barnes. Um, I picked this book up um, on a random whim when I was in a charity shop recently uh, a few weeks ago. Um, and I really liked a couple of Julian Barnes's other books. So I really liked uh, The Sense of an Ending, which won the 2011 Man Booker Prize. Um, and I also enjoyed The Noise of Time, which I think was published in 2016. So they're quite recent works of his. Um, so when I saw this, um, I thought I would give it a go. Um, in some ways, Flaubert's Parrot, which was published in 1984, um, seems to have a lot in common with The Noise of Time, which is about the famous Russian composer Shostakovich um, who, and the uh, intense political climate um, in Russia at the time when he was composing um, and the danger that he found himself in when his music and he fell out of favour with the current political um, powers that be. Um, Flaubert's Parrot um, is a lot about Gustave Flaubert, the famous French author, um, who I've never actually read, um, who famously uh, published Madame Bovary in 1857. Um, and in the book, we get a good bit of a bio of Flaubert. So we learn about um, his rise to fame after the publication of Madame Bovary. Uh, we learn about his um, serious epilepsy, which in many ways curtailed his studies um, when he was younger. Um, his uh, relationship with his doctor father and also his relationships with various women in his life. So his um, nanny, his overbearing mother, um, his... A devoted niece who he um, helped to educate, um, his various lovers and the many many prostitutes that he also visited as well. But Flaubert is not actually the protagonist of this book. Um, the protagonist is Geoffrey Braithwaite, a retired widowed doctor um, with grown-up children that seem disinterested in his life now um, and who has a love of Flaubert and in his exploration and investigation of Flaubert's life so he goes to France several times he goes to the museums he sees the sites where he lived and the hotels or the places where the hotels were that Flaubert stayed in and he investigates um, his history and also the uh, eponymous parrot um, that Flaubert borrowed from a museum in order to uh, be inspired to write a parrot into one of his stories. Um, Braithwaite uh, sort of remembers or explores things about his own life and his own past um, and shares that with us as well. So in this way, this book then seems a bit more like The Sense of an Ending, the other Julian Barnes book that I've read. Uh, in this book, a um, middle-aged man, uh, this time divorced, not widowed, uh, looks back on his life, and um, particularly some instances um, around the breakup of a girlfriend when he was much younger at university and also the suicide of one of his, one of his friends. And he um, rethinks uh, some of the decisions that he made then and questions whether or not he did the right thing at various times during his younger life. But in Flaubert's Parrot, um, our protagonist Geoffrey Braithwaite doesn't really seem to question that much about his about his past and the things that he did and the decisions that he made. Um, instead he just seems to uh, quite philosophically accept what's happened. Um, it's just happened, that's just the way that it is, which at times can be quite frustrating when you have characters that are like that, that seem, um, you know, just to kind of accept things and well, that, that's, how, that's just how it is. There's also a lot about Flaubert in this book. Like, much of the book is actually about Flaubert. I know it's supposed to be that we find out little bits about Braithwaite along the way, and they're sort of teased out, eked out to keep you reading, to keep you kind of guessing um, what the story is with him. Um, but there's just a lot about Flaubert, and it's kind of interesting if you're interested in Flaubert. I'm assuming that it's all true, because I, I don't know, and I'm not going to look at every detail about his life. Um, but it did kind of feel like I was just reading a book a, a kind of a chatty biography of Gustave Flaubert um, or like a celebrity travelogue, like the book version of a celebrity travelogue, like, oh, I'm really interested in Flaubert, so I've travelled to France to learn more about him and join me as we, as we go off together to explore. Um, I personally would have liked more of Braithwaite and his story and um, perhaps some other characters to be introduced into the book because it is... Um, 
essentially an internal monologue, Jeffrey Braithwaite's internal monologue, his thoughts, um, although there is kind of a narrative device that he is clearly talking or communicating with somebody else. At first it seemed like he was talking to us, the audience, the reader, um, but then it does seem like he changes and he's actually talking to another person who is never actually fully um, brought into the story. So he refers to writing to them, um, but also you can tell that at times they're actually having a, a conversation where there's dialogue in in the book um, and it's not really quite clear it's never quite explained who they are and for me personally I don't think that device quite worked I just kind of want it to be a bit more explained I thought we'd find out at the end who he was talking to and you don't actually find out spoiler sorry um, so that didn't quite work for me having said that I do think that this is an interesting book I did find it interesting it is different it's unique because of the way that it's constructed and because of the way that it's about one thing but actually about another thing um, that's good, that's cool, <laughs> that's good. And I didn't know that much about Flaubert uh, and his parrot um, before I started reading this, so that's nice. So the same with The Noise of Time, when I learned a bit about Shostakovich, whose name I still can't pronounce. Um, I didn't know that much about him, but that's a slightly different book because Shostakovich is the protagonist and the central character of that book, and it's about him, whereas in this book, Jeffrey Braithwaite is our protagonist, but it's mainly about Flaubert, all the other way around. Um, anyway, um, I do recommend it, and I do recommend Julian Barnes because I do like his books. Um, so, probably the sentiment ending is the one that I'd go for, to be honest with you. Um, but if you're interested in Gustave Flaubert, go for this. Um, I hope you like this video, please give me a like if you have, and if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe.